Hi, in the last videos, we used VLOOKUPs to get the engines that were required. However, the problem was uh, with the VLOOKUP, we couldn't get the next bigger engine. Uh, if, if I had something like 60, if I required 60 horsepower, and I would like to get the 90 horsepower engine here, but with the VLOOKUP, all I can get is the 54 uh, horsepower engine. And um, the VLOOKUP, as, as, as discussed in the previous video, was or is not the right tool for uh, to get the next bigger engine. What we need is another function which is called match. Now the way match works is the following. Uh, just let me move that. Just click in here. You get the function wizard. Go most recently used. Okay, you have match here. You could have match here, but if you, if you don't have it, just go under all, and let me just put it here to the side, and slide down to M. There we go. So now match is quite similar to VLOOKUP. The lookup value is the same as in the VLOOKUP, is basically what have I got? I got, I know I require 60 horsepower, so that's my lookup value. Where's my array? Well. I don't need the whole data table. What I need is the first column. And here, match type, you could have one of three values. Zero, that means an exact match. And here you see I have no exact match. That's why I have no preview. I could use one. That's basically, that would give me the smallest or uh, the next smaller engine uh, in my table. So basically with 60 BHP, I would get that 54 uh, BHP engine, similar to the VLOOKUP. What I need is minus one. That would give me the next bigger engine, okay? Now I get here none available. Why do I get that? Because I forgot to do one thing. Basically, if you use match and you use the value minus one for your type, for your match type, what you have to do either before you're using match or afterwards is you got to sort your data uh, after that power, but in a descending order. So basically what I got to do is go sort. Let me just reduce that a bit here and go to sort and from largest to smallest. And now we have a result. What that is, that is not uh, the type of engine, but it's basically the line in which our engine resides. And that's line three. So line three is one, two, three. So basically it is that engine. Okay. If I, if I put in like 95, I should be getting line two, that 113. Let's see. That's right. Now, how do I get the type, the engine type? All I get here is the line number. Well, there's where we use the second function, it's called index. And I'm just gonna put index here. I, I call the function wizard and index. Uh, wait a minute, I'm just gonna go a little more. Index. And I just choose the first, the first option. And now, In index, I first got to pick the array. Okay, my array is the whole data table, just like with the VLOOKUP. What's my row number? Row number is here, what I got through match. And what's the column number? Well, I would like to have the engine type, and the engine type is in column number one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and there I got that, okay? Let me do it again. First, I use match. So match would go like that. Let me just go recently used because they're much faster to get. Match. Now, what's my lookup value? Again, it's that BHP. My lookup array is that whole list of BHPs. And match type is minus one because remember, we need to get the next bigger engine. And I get same thing, uh, line two. And then here I use index 
and basically index again an array is again the data table row number is still the two and column number is in this case I need the description so column number would be column number four okay and so on basically when using match and index you just do match once so I'm just gonna put it here you just do match once and I don't need this and what you do you just use index because match what match does it gives you the the, col the the line number that you need it tells you in which line your engine is and what you do with the indexes then with those index functions you just pick the column out of that line number let me just correct that row number is this one here okay so if I want a price I just go index again select my array or my data table row number is the same thing as here and column number is in this case three okay and just copy that and put it in here and mass would be two all right so now i can get the next bigger engine every, any, with any bhp I, I i input if i if i have like 90 bhp i get that I get that guy, which is an exact match. However, once I have 91 PHP, I get this guy here, which is basically the next engine able to cater or, or to supply more than 91 or at least 91 PHP. That one here wouldn't be able to supply that. And this, getting this is much easier with, with, with match and index than getting it through uh, VLOOKUPs. I mean, you could do it with VLOOKUPs, but you could do it with VLOOKUPs alone. You'd have to use another function as well. So with, with match and index, it's much easier, and it's also much faster, especially if you have a big data set. Match and index are way faster than VLOOKUPs.